So today we're going to compare homegrown strawberries to some store-bought strawberries. And I think there's going to be a bit of range here. Um, in case it is of any interest, um, we have like five to six, maybe even seven varieties going in the garden. Um, I think we have like Chandler, um, Seascape. Sequoia, Seascape, um, Quinault. I think this the biggest one we have here is a Quinault. We have the Heirloom Pineberry, which is these little white ones here. Um, no clue what the store-bought variety is. It's just berry. <laughs> so we're gonna kind of see what kind of flavor ranges are in here. I think there's gonna be a lot of variety maybe in sweetness and tartness, whereas I'm expecting these to just be what they are. I'm sure they're good, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm just expecting berries and what yeah. they eat. Yeah. Given they are a little bit big. Yeah, these are borderline. I think we gotta finish them today. So maybe they won't be as good as they could be. I think they're still gonna be good. Yeah, I think that's because of their, at the end of their lifespan? best buy lifespan. Sure. God, they're so squishy. <laughs> That's actually very good. That's a berry. No tartness, just kind of sweet. Yep, just berry. Yeah, not a lot of flavor, just strawberry. I thought you were going to grab both halves for a second. <laughs> I was going to get real mad real fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a couple more because they're actually pretty good. I like strawberries. <laughs> I mean, so do I, but we also have our own berries that we got. I can it. eat all the strawberries. I know you can. That's why I have to stop you. So I can do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta beat you to it. Very juicy. Not super flavorful. I think it's because they're at the end of the lifespan. Yeah. That would actually taste a little bit different. Interesting. And store-bought strawberries, it's never going to be one variety. Yeah, it's going to be a mix because they're there for the yield. Well, I mean, um, like in one container you probably have the same variety, but like throughout the year there's going to be different varieties available <laughs> so that there's a consistency of strawberries on the shelf. Yeah, because you have your June bearing strawberries and you have year-long strawberries. Yeah. These are ours. So these are from our garden. I think this is a sequoia variety. Um, they're just little baby berries right now, but they'll get bigger over time. Yeah, they're, um, from what I understand, a quote-unquote wild strawberry. It was a tart berry and I loved it. The one I got, it wasn't so tart. Sucks. <laughs> This one, I believe, is the quinault. The only big berry. That one's got a good flavor to it. Yeah. It's pretty juicy. It was a well-rounded berry. Um, and some of our strawberries are not, uh, like, at their prime growing time. Yeah. Um, some of them are in their second 
first or second year. Um, it's hard to say because we've had them for a little while and some of them have died back and some of them have grown more shoots, offshoots. Um, so when I've been pruning them, I've been trying to prune the older berries to give them a chance to establish themselves. So I think we have a mixture of like second year strawberry plants, berries with fruit, first ones, et cetera, et cetera. Interesting. So that one, that one was kind of watery and tart and yeah, that was less flavor. Of, that was both of mine just now. I'm not complaining. Though. So our flavor ranges are all over the map, which is, I kind of like that. Mm. That's why it gets frustrating when people ask like, oh, are these berries sour? Are they tart? Are they sweet? I don't know. <laughs> Every berry's different. So these are the the heirloom pine berry. And when we got this and I was kind of researching it a bit, they're ready when they're white and like around this size, from what I understand. Yeah, I don't think they get very big, right? Not from what I've seen. Um, but they can also get a bit pink and like begin to look like they're turning red. But that's not when you're supposed to like take them and eat them. At that point, they're like really ready because yeah. they, they are softer than other varieties. They get very, very soft. It's true, they squishy boys. Yeah. Wow. And I have a pretty distinct flavor. Unfortunately, that wasn't big enough for me to pick up on it. You got the bigger one. Mm. But we'll get bigger ones. There's, later. there's a couple more in here. Yeah, they're little babies, though. They're very little babies. I'm gonna have a couple more of the store ones. Okay. Rude. After all the effort that our backyard. Um. I'm not giving up on the backyard ones, I'm going to eat them. <laughs> Just saying, betrayal. <laughs> I treat all strawberries equally. I'll eat them all. I'm like... Some of them are kind of strangely shaped because they weren't like fully pollinated. Yeah, they're ugly and adorable. Yeah. They are little ugly berries. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute. So that one was actually kind of watery, so maybe it came from a plant that hadn't developed for too long. Mm. Checks out. Checks out, checks out. I just hit all this. Yeah, I'm supposed to eat them all. Yeah, they're not going to last. Now that we've watered them, we don't got them wet. Little one got some good flavor. That one was all right. A little tiny, my berry. That one was very sour. Yeah, that was great. I don't know what to think of that one. I. Maybe that one wasn't so good. Don't eat all the fancy ones. <laughs> that one was kind of watery too. It does seem as though 
we're getting less and less of the watery ones and more flavorful ones as we get into the season and, and the plants become more established. Well, that's what I think because they're small too, so they're more flavor packed. Could be. <laughs> tiny. I'm not, to be the first to admit, I'm not an expert on all the varieties that we have and their different qualities. Yeah, we're just like, ooh, berry. It's fun to have so many because they are all a little bit different in their flavor profiles. Excuse me. Nasty. But yeah, that's just some different strawberries. If you like, what am I trying to say? If you like different flavor profiles in strawberries, like tartness, and you can't find it necessarily, you might consider growing it, which is what we're doing. <laughs> also because I don't want to pay $5 for one pound of strawberries. They can get expensive. They can, I don't like it. I just want to eat strawberries all the time, so I might as well just have my own plant. I, well, and we have several. We have like... We have a row. We have several dozen. <laughs> just can't seem to stop growing berries. No. At some point, we'll be able to go out there and just fill up containers. That'd be great. Because they'll just be pumping them out. In time. What the last one? That's all you. <laughs> I want to add a bit of tartness. Turquoise. 